Hey boys and girls, Lucky here and welcome back to another video. So today we'll be taking our first look at Valorant, which is pro formerly known as Project A, the new 5v5 competitive FPS by Riot Games, who obviously also made League of Legends, in case you didn't know. So yes, this is Alpha Gameplay, they just released it, so this is the official reveal, you could call it. And we want to make, like, a live analysis. So right off the bat, I think it's interesting to see how we have like very similar structured things towards um or like similar to cs in a way you got a sidearms smgs shotguns rifles obviously snipers and heavies you also got your shields kind of like your armor i'd say and then abilities which i'm not sure if they also have to be purchased might be the case but those will mainly act from what i've seen in the gameplay as utility same like a smoke grenade would be a flashbang would be i guess incendiary or a normal grenade would work like Something interesting to see, we get A, B, and C, so we'll get three bomb sites initially, if I'm not mistaken. And down here we have our abilities, so Q, E, W, and on four, which is, I'd say, um, fairly similar to what you would have if you were like a full buy in CS. And then of course we got this area, which is blocked off, which makes me assume that it's kind of like there to just give the defenders a little bit of a head start, uh, so you can set up and defend the sites properly before the game actually starts. And immediately, we see this seems to be like a channeled ability, which acts like a smoke grenade. So from what I've seen, you can just walk through, and but while you're inside or going through, it actually blocks your view. And this was like the, the scan dart that you just saw, which actually is able to reveal enemies I would assume for a small amount of time in a small radius just like right there and of course damage seems to be quite high so if you're not a big fan of like BRs we just shoot people for ages and ages because they got like shields and all of that it seems like the the gunplay and the time to kill time to kill seems to be very fast so it's it's probably gonna be so that as again from what I've seen things like headshots will still always be king and um, gun fights will usually end rather quickly. Again, very similar to how it would be in uh, Counter-Strike. Again, I think right now, if we just go back for a sec, this is one of the abilities or like the ultimate abilities I would assume. Throwing knives maybe? I can think of these maybe being daggers that do like 75% damage or something so that you hit one with a headshot or upper body or something or a second one for like an instant kill then. Something like that, hard to, to say because we don't really see lots of actions. She later on gets one kill with them, but we actually are um, looking at someone else. Of course, here we see a drone, which is similar to what you would expect from Crypto. Also, something interesting to note, you, you have to take um, a look at the crosshairs. So when it's switching between views, so we got a sniper person right here, and you can see that um, the reticle right here actually changes every time. It's a little hard to see. Let me go to another frame. So obviously there will be, from what I would assume right here, uh, be lots of customization for your actual crosshair to make it fit your uh, needs kind of again, like we would have in CS in general. It seems like this game is very closely related to CS, but you would slap a couple of things like abilities on top, a third bomb site, stuff like that, and make it a little bit more vertical because we all know CS is very horizontal in most scenarios. So that's a, a, a change I would actually welcome. And then of course, last but not least, headshot to finish it off and then defusing the bomb. So from what I've seen so far, um, I'm really happy. Definitely play the game once it comes out. I'll probably will make videos on that because this is essentially what I Always one from CS, just like a faster version of CS, it seems like, with a little bit more of abilities to spice it up. So looking forward to that, let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below, and like a skill faker out.